Lawyers and accountants across the country may be whipping out their calculators on word that Mel Gibson and his wife Robin have filed for divorce. There is no prenup and there is a lot of money at stake. CBS News correspondent Michelle Geelan reports. After 28 years of marriage, Mel Gibson and his wife Robin are calling it quits, with each party citing irreconcilable differences. In his filing, Gibson writes that the couple separated in 2006, less than a month after his infamous DUI. Earlier that night, he was caught partying with young women. The Oscar-winning actor's net worth has been estimated upwards of $900 million. In 2004, Gibson topped Forbes celebrity rich list, propelled by the movie The Passion of the Christ. Among his reported assets, an entire island in Fiji that he bought for $9 million and a 400-acre ranch in Costa Rica purchased at $26 million. Robin could walk away with much more. Michelle Gielin, CBS News, New York. CBS News legal analyst Lisa Bloom is back to talk about the big bucks at stake. No prenup. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Because this is a marriage from 1980, a long marriage, 29 years, yeah. so so much money is at and stake. This, and they were married before he had any money. Well, that's right. And so here's what the divorce court does. It's going to take all of the assets earned during the marriage, which is all of his wealth, marshal it all together, and then divide it <laughs> roughly in half because there is no prenup. It's a, kind it's, of a a Cali- it's a California thing, right? Yeah, well, that's most states, that's is, how they do it. It's called anymore? different things, equitable distribution in right. some states, community property in California, but it's essentially the same and thing. And if he's worth as much as they say, some people say he's worth nine. $900 million. Right. Then she gets roughly half of that. It's a long marriage. She, look, she raised their seven children. Right. The idea is that partners in a marriage are mm-hmm. real partners, and the court's mm-hmm. going to recognize what that. What do the lawyers get out of that? <laughs> well, they usually get paid <laughs> hourly. Look, it depends on how long they fight. Right now, they're yeah. saying they want their privacy. They mm-hmm. want to do this amicably. If they do mm-hmm. that, the lawyers won't get very yeah. much. What are some of the other big uh, Hollywood divorces that ended up with serious settlements? Well, of course, Paul McCartney recently oh, and man. Heather Mills, yeah. Madonna and Guy Ritchie. Yeah. I mean, these are cases that talk about $40 million, $50 million right in our eyeballs. We're all popping in yeah. those cases. We thought that was a big deal. Yeah, that was chump change compared to the $450 million dollars that Mel Gibson's yeah. wife could be looking now, at. Now, uh, help me understand this, because I i don't know the details, but she filed, right? Does it make a right. difference? No. Who files? or No, let's be clear about that. She okay. filed, and then four hours later, he responded, which is really unheard of. So they both had to know that this was coming. Okay. And they were separated, apparently, for the last couple of years, at least according to Mel Gibson. Uh-huh. So the last couple of years since the separation, his money is mm-hmm. his money. That's all, right. all, that's all going to be just his after the separation. There you go. Except. Except for the... The stuff that gets raked over to the other side. <laughs> exactly. And there's so exactly, much Exactly, right. The little snow plows are moving yeah. all over. Yeah, and it doesn't place. matter if one of them had an affair or if one of them had 10 affairs. This is a no-fault oh, state in California. it's a no-fault state. Okay. 50-50. All right. all right, Lisa, thanks so much. Thanks. 